kupata historia ya Tanzania kwa kwenye perspective ya kitu So the JJ you can all of our for the photos that we did that they know how to store those garage notes and when we refer to a thousand note, they will know which one is a thousand note, which one is the Ahmad note, which one is an Aweto, which one is the Tadeshebe note, and which one is the JJ note. So they have also their nicknames in the department. So, so far we have only three Namibians that have signed on the Namibian bank notes. And that's our official signature touch. Those are the three gentlemen, in case anyone doesn't know how they look. That's the De Tom, the De Shimi, and Governor Kabaka. All three were our own governors. Okay. What informs a plan such as this? Why are we here this morning? Is it because we have received a new governor who was already appointed in general? No. What happens within the currency space is that the department, we are responsible to protect currency year on year. So what we do is we have an internal forecasting model that was developed with the assistance of the data given step. So we forecast, for example, for 2022, what is the total currency that we need? We forecast up to a piece. What are the pieces that we need? So based on that forecast, we we'll know, for example, in 2020, we we'll know that we need to replenish in 2021 this denomination. So in 2020 already we knew we were going to replenish the $10 note because we are running low on our stock levels. So that is what informs the demand and supply. Where does the demand come from? From all of us sitting here, the commercial banks are our contract that makes sure that we release the money in circulation. So we are sitting behind the scenes to make sure that Namibia at any given time has money. When I was driving to work this morning, I was saying, how would a day be in the lives of Namibians who come at an ATM and they can't get money to return? No currency or no bank of Namibia out of stock. Then it means we are fair to deliver on our mandate. So we need to make sure that any given time we have enough currency. In our currency replenishment cycle, as I said, this is more a public lecture informing you on what happens behind the scenes. I think my principals will do the need to, to elevate at the higher level. Why do we need the notes in Namibia? Although my colleague Barbara is a different view in terms of digitalization. So as I indicated, by law, we need to play currency, number one. We need to make sure we have enough currency. We need to determine the security features in that section 148. So the section 38 of the Bank of Namibia Act. We need to determine the security features on our notes. So as I said, what led us to today is we need to change one security feature on our current bank notes, and that's what we call level one security feature. Printed in race in, and that's the signature of the government. And by law, your bank notes needs to be signed by a sitting governor. I was actually thinking to say, okay, maybe it's perhaps we'll ask, what happened if Governor Kanaha was not reappointed in general? What we're going to do with those notes? We were still going to release them. Why? Because the time that we printed and the year of print on those notes is still 2021. We received them in January 2022 for delivery. It's still 2021, he was a sitting governor, and it's still would be the signature of the sitting governor at that particular point in time. So it's by law, number one, the law dictates that we need to change the security features. And one of the security features is the signature of the governor, which is the level one security features. I'll not go into detail. We'll explain to you the high level security features on our notes. And secondly, if we don't educate the public or if we don't change the signature of the governor, we are in violation of the law. Because you can't have a different governor in office and we print the notes of 2021 under the Tatekungu Shimu It cannot happen in the past, and it cannot, it's, it's unacceptable. And mind you, our industry is not only confined to the space within the Namibia. We have international collectors that have very, very vested interest in our currency. So they will know, Bank of Namibia announced the government. Now they have a, a note released, but the note is still under Shimu. Already they will take us from that side. So I just wanted to provide that context as to what really brought us to this debate. Why are we changing the signature on the payment? And secondly, if we don't change the signature and we just or change and release it into the market without getting an event such as this, it can be rejected. It can also challenge us from a confidence and public confidence perspective. I remember one day I was in a salon and the ladies were making promotion and asked them, what is happening here? One of them told us, these people are having a fake note. I said, wait, let me see. I checked, it was an Eric Carlson nickel tender note, but they did not know the signature of Eric Carlson. Mind you, it's one of them who probably not born by the time. 
So I took the note and I changed for another note. But I tried to explain that they didn't understand. They said they want the note that is the right that they are aware of that they should Those are the notes that we know. So it is also a must from the central place perspective to educate the public if you change any security features on your note. And as I have said in my earlier presentation, how do we go about the currency planning and forecasting? And most importantly, also the periodic review of our MAD security features. When we print, for example, the tender note, we look at what are the most targeted security features where the counterfeiting, uh, counterfeiting are leveraging from. Which note is the most counterfeit? And interestingly, our counterfeiters, although they are very few, are not interested in the temporal payment. Nonetheless, we don't disregard that because they know it's not really the effort because they want the $200. That's the most counterfeited. But when you look at the importance of the $10 in circulation, this is the most circulated payment. Within the Namibian landscape, the most circulated. The demand is very high. So we can't even afford to run out of this denomination. So what we then do is when we look at our security features, we always look at what are the emerging security features within the international currency space that can assist us as a central bank to have local security bank by bank notes with the local security features so that we are not attacked from a counterfeiting perspective. That's number one. So you look at your sophistication of your security features. Number two, the quality of your bank note paper. We call it the substrate. Otherwise, your notes will not last in circulation and later on they will look like toilet paper. So those are two core things in the structure of the bank note. In terms of the approval and the governance process, yes, by law, we get approval internally from the management team. The proposal comes from the line department. Management team approves uh, uh, then the, uh, the board, minister of finance, and then the cabinet. So that is the approval. When you change any security feature, it needs to be approved through those governance structures. Then the procurement process starts, and then the production. So I have already touched on war and the journey on the JJ Tendula Bank note, which will be officially launched by the government this morning. We started this project in 2020, and it was officially completed this year when we received the notes in January 2022. I will not touch on a lot of details on that one, because Ghana will do the gateway. But what I wanted to emphasize is the note that we'll be releasing today. It's a legal tender like all other notes, and all other notes, all the five signatories that I've displayed earlier will still continue to circulate within the Namibian landscape. They are all legal tender. So that was the project leaders. The next present or slide is on the cost effectiveness. I wanted to talk about that one briefly. Yes, currency production, it's not very costly, but it's one of the costly exercises at the central bank. But one thing that we do and make sure is our currency is procured to the most cost-effective manner. And we only procure if the demand dictates as such, when our stock levels are low. And our replenishment cycle is three years. I know some of the central banks procure stock for five years, but for us five years is too much, it's dead cash in the world. So we make sure that currency, when we procure, it's procured in the most cost-effective manner. Even when you look at our payments, the security features, we need to make sure because the, the cost is more on the security features because these are patent and sec, uh, patent security features by the supply. So that is where the biggest cost is. So you need to balance. Where is your biggest counterfeiting uh, risk? On the $200. And that is how you also look at to how do you portray or display or align your security features on the various denominations. The other issue that I wanted to touch on now that we have the kitchens in the houses and all the Namibians on the social media platform is our coins are legal tender in Namibia. They are playing an important role in the cash cycle in Namibia. Allow me to take this opportunity and humbly request everyone to please respect our coins. Recycle them, leave them back. If you don't recycle, you throw them away. It's the tax payers' money because we need to, as a central bank, procure these coins. And there is demand for coins. We have also noted an up. Um, an abnormal demand for the 10 cents, but that is attributed to the 10 or uh, 5 cent coin that we discontinue. So, I want to urge the members of the public now that I have an opportunity to please ensure you recycle our coins. We need them. I briefly touch on the issue of the state of the art stable and the, secure, the security of our currency. And uh, why is it important? As much as the digital payment landscape is focusing on enhancing the security around the digital payment instruments, the same goes for cash. We need to make sure that cash as a payment instrument in the national payment system is secure and everybody can trust it 
and everybody can use it with relative confidence within the national payment system or the African economy. And as I said, I'm about to conclude. As I said, this is what happens behind the scenes. The results are speaking for themselves. 2013, when we launched, or when uh, you know, we issued our new series of payments in 2012, 20, there's an international association of currency and debts for the whole currency industry of the world. In that 2013, Bank of Namibia, a central bank in the southern part of Africa, won the best collaborative currency public education program. Give yourself a little bit of talks and ideas. That was the award in Athens, Greece, 2013. My colleague Philip Jenja officiated or took, uh, took the, or collected the gift or the certificate on behalf of the bank. Another note that is really setting the scene and the change at a high level is our political agreement. And I can say that with so much pride for every Namibia that is following us, every one person in this auditorium, the governments. This is our pride, this is our money we need to be proud of. Our $30 bank note won. Firstly, 2020 it was nominated for the bank note of the year award, but we didn't make it. Bank of Mexico won. Good news, last year, 16th December to be exact, to be exact the Namibian $30 bank notes within the region of East, sorry, Europe, Middle East and Africa has no nominated as the best commemorative bank note. But how did we make it? It's the level of sophistication of the security features on that note and the theme. And this is a polling bank note. It's not plastic, it's polymer, so it's one of the state of the art printing substrate and the most expensive also, but still within the reasonable levels in terms of the synergy perspective. So because I wanted to also touch on synergy. When we print our currency, how do we make money on currency? It's the difference between your production cost and the face value. So that's the synergy. So at any given time, we can't print currency that is more than the face value. And that's why we just continue the five cent point. The next one is at the moment as we are speaking, please let's continue to pray and hold our breath. Bank of Namibia has been nominated again in the top five commemorative bank notes at the International Association of Currency and Pays Awards. The announcements will be on the 22nd of February in Washington, where all the currency industry experts will gather. Unfortunately, this year will not go because of COVID restrictions, but if we win, all of our suppliers will collect it for us. So who are we competing with? Look at, just look at the level. We are competing against the Banco Central, Central Bank of Costa Rica, uh, Azerbaijan, Banco de Mexico, Bank of uh, Qatar, and then Bank of Namibia. Those are the five contestants for the best commemorative bank. So colleagues, on a very serious note, and that's why in my remarks I open and say, whatever you do, you need to do it for the betterment of your country. For every Namibian to sit in their chairs, in the comfort of their homes, and in that pride, the same way we feel about what we just did for That is the same way we should feel about our currency. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about the counterfeiting. Counterfeiting is a bit concern from the Bank of Namibia perspective, but not at the moment. What we noted as a central thing is the level of counterfeiting in Namibia is very, very, very at a very low state. Not low, but entry level. The level of counterfeiters are not advanced. We have seen the super dollar that it was counterfeited. Our Namibians, the guys that are really trying their luck, especially with our big denominations, is for just photocopy the paper of the bank note on the normal photocopy paper. They cut the reverse on the other side of the bank note with the same serial number. And our bank note counterfeit expert in the house, even the police in the bank, when you pick it up, you'll see it's a counterfeit. But we have a mechanism in place at the Bank of Namibia to monitor the trend of counterfeiting. And if it reaches a certain level, it gives us a signal to say, we need to look at our security features. They are not resilient to counterfeiting. That's why we are attacked. And it will challenge, or it will challenge our, yeah, it will challenge the level of public confidence in our notes. So briefly, I just wanted to give you a high level overview in terms of how we are performing from a counterfeiting point of view, or whether it's an area of concern now that we have an opportunity. You can see the trend here. The most complicated note is the $200 million. 2017, we had the highest, but the trend is on a declining uh, trend. 
2021, we had only 78 in terms of the highest per most number per capita, it was only one. 26. So you can see the statistics for yourself, I'm not going through everything. Within the currency space, there is a formula that we use to check the level of number rating and whether it's of concern, and that is what we call the PPM. Value of pieces per 1 million banknotes in circulation. The industry benchmark is 70, Bank of Namibia is 10. Currently, we are spending at 3.0 for 3 banknotes per 1 million banknotes in circulation. So, with that confidence and faith to work with, let me thank you for your time and attention. I understand, or I know now that you have a brief understanding of what I do behind the scenes. Thank you very much. Director of Ceremonies, and Margaritas, Deputy Governor Epson Manguta, Deputy Governor Dion Dunn, Management of the Bank, Chief Executives of Commercial Banks, my dear wife, my George and family, staff of the bank, Epson, members of the media, those who are following us on social media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I'm honored to be here this morning to celebrate the official launch of the modified 10 Namibia dollar banknote and its official release into circulation. I'm delighted to see dear colleagues from the regulated entities who are essential in ensuring all Namibians have access to banknotes and coins when they need them. On a personal note, I'm honored to have my dear wife present a wonderful and dependable companion for over 40 years. I'm also glad my daughter is present. They are my biggest supporters. We never set out to become central bank governors. We failed to fail. We succeeded and created an impeccable track record for corporate world. We received the call to contribute towards national building and we have given up what we have to contribute to this bigger thing of nation building. I also recognize the entire team at the bank who have welcomed me into the Eagle family and made my stay be a fulfilling one. As you have heard from Sensia Rukata, the Bank of Namibia Act of 2020 provides the bank of the sole mandate to issue, manufacture, and determine the characteristics of the notes and coins we issue in Namibia. Historically, this is one of the core functions of the bank, like that of most central banks. Essentially, this function entails control over the currency while maintaining the monetary unit's purchasing power. Money forms the basis of small transactions in our day-to-day -day lives. To some extent, money is what the economy of the country is all about. It shapes our lives and it's an important national symbol and a source of pride. Money is the lubricant that enables a society to organize itself to achieve economic progress. Evidence suggests that merchants and consumers, particularly those with low income, would be significantly worse off without cash. This may also be the case for other segments of the population, such as the older people who have no appetite for financial intricacies, who prefer cash over other means of payment. It goes without saying that the value of paper money depends on trust. Trust that it will hold its value. Trust that others will accept it as a means of payment and as a store of value. Ensuring public trust and confidence in our money is at the heart of what we do at the central bank. Money can only play its fundamental role if that trust and confidence is maintained. That motivates the bank's core objective of price stability so that people can be confident of the value of their money over time and financial stability to be able to access and use it as and where they need it. The general public continues to identify the Bank of Namibia closely with the currency issuance and management function. Indeed, since its first issuance on 14 September 1993, 
The Namibia dollar has become an important symbol of national unity. The Namibian dollar stands out as a tangible symbol, just like our national flag, coat of arms, and other symbols of national unity. We hold, we hold it in our hands. We use it on a daily basis. In fact, for the visitors coming in for the first time in the country, one of the first points of contact is cash, the local currency, which a person needs to acquire to pay for goods and services. It remains our cherished responsibility to ensure that the Namibia dollar is never in short supply, a constitutional responsibility we perform with pride. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud of the fact that the Namibia dollar is the lifeblood of our economy. Although Namibians increasingly transact electronically through digital payment channels, the adage that cash is king is still valid for Namibia. For instance, in 2020, an increase of 4.3% was recorded in the amount of currency in circulation, while 2021 showed a slight reduction of 1.7%. One possible explanation for this apparent paradox is the increasing demand for banknotes in times of upheaval, in times of uncertainty. When COVID-19 hit, people tend to cash as a tool to manage uncertainty and be able to conduct transactions despite having moved to remote areas where swapping cards is not always possible. In 2021, the slight reduction is partially attributed to a degree of normalization following less severe restrictions and progress of adjustments to the pandemic. The Namibian economy is one that is highly cash-dominated as is evidenced by the over 50 million ATM withdrawals, totaling 36.9 billion Namibian dollars conducted in trademark when the Namibians remain heavily cash-reliant despite the advancements in digital payments. It is also indicative of the symbiotic relationship between cash and cashless transactions, meaning the two have become intertwined and thus cash will not be displaced, it appears, in the near future. But that doesn't mean that our financial system and other agents should be discouraged from transforming and innovating our payment landscape. In fact, we welcome innovations on this front as they can ensure meaningful participation of our people, especially those in the informal economy, SMEs, and rural Namibia. Like most central banks, the Bank of Namibia is researching central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. Money is undergoing one of the biggest changes since the Chinese introduced paper money about 1,000 years ago. The number and value of cryptocurrencies have surged, raising the possibility of financial world operating outside the control of governments and central banks. There is thus a need for central banks to have a clear digital currency agenda to reinforce central bank authority over money and maintain control over the payment system. The proposed digital agenda should be crafted through consultation with banks, through consultation with civil society, commercial banks, and the public. The potential objectives advanced by these stakeholders will be many and varied, but not compatible. And the design of a digital currency will have to involve trade offs, notably between privacy and identity based services, and between centralized versus distributed control. CBDCs will have financial stability implications through this intermediation of commercial banks and potentially its effect to monetary sovereignty. As policymakers, we need to ensure these concerns are addressed and that we have a financial system that is stable and sound, which fosters innovation, which fosters competition and promotes the trust. Ladies and gentlemen, as established, our Namibia dollar is widely used in our economy, but more than that, it serves other important purposes. Our bank notes reflect the diversity as a people, it reflects our fauna and flora, our majestic animals and the beauty of the Namibia office. 
Our heroes are celebrated in our laws, preserving our country's rich history of posterity. Tourists are taking our bike notes as souvenirs, and our bank notes are highly sought after in the international collecting market. Consequently, we have to maintain the quality of our bank notes with cutting edge security features, which render them easy to identify and make them difficult to counterfeit. The 10 million dollar bank note notification depicts a new visible security feature. This entails the official signature of the governor printed in raised ink on the front side of the bank note in the year of print 2021 on the back side of the note. It is important to emphasize that all other security features remain unchanged on both the obverse and the reverse side of the bank note. As customary, the public remains advised to look to real and tell bank notes to verify the validity and visible security features. However, the launch of the 10 million dollar modified bank note is not just a procedural task, but one that holds a deeper meaning and significance. The amount of money in a nation, money supply is crucial to the health of the economy. If there is not enough currency in circulation, the economy cannot operate seamlessly. It is the same as making an engine run without oil or expecting brakes to work without brake fluid. This will be a disaster. The 10 Namibia dollar banknote denomination is one of the banknotes with the highest circulation velocity. Circulation velocity, also known as the return frequency, is the number of times in a given period the average banknote will return from circulation to the central bank. In 2021, the 200 Namibia dollar banknote was the most circulated of a volume of 14.3 million pieces, while the 10 Namibia dollar banknote is the second most circulated note with a volume of 10.2 million pieces. The reasons for this are pretty basic. Every Namibian from all walks of life is able to possess a 10 Namibia dollar banknote, and it is used daily in domestic transactions, and it is classified as a transactional note. It is a note that serves both our formal and informal economies, and its importance cannot be overemphasized. As said earlier, the Namibian dollar is the oil that fuels the Namibian economy, and it is an important symbol of our statehood, our identity, and our culture as a people. Our responsibility is to ensure that Namibians have total trust and confidence in the Namibian dollar. Therefore, we undertake to continue discharging this responsibility as a custodian of our currency now and in the future. And that means exercising our monetary policy mandate properly so that our money, money's value is not lost and ensuring that the national payment system is resilient while fostering a world-class financial system. That is our preoccupation. In conclusion, as you know, our bank notes and coins are a source of pride as they celebrate the lives of eminent Namibians. The face of the founding father, President Sandy Yoman, decorates the 10 Namibia dollar note. The founding father, during the independence celebrations, when we attained nationhood, said the following, and I quote him, The destiny of this country is now fully in your hands. We should therefore look forward to the future with confidence and hope. Close quote. We do not face the challenges founding President Nyoma and his generation faced. We have our own set of challenges, but those words remain relevant today as they were when his generation fought for independence and freedom. Our current head of state, President Magakengo, recently enjoined us to see beyond the current challenges we face by stating the following in a quote No matter what challenges we face, let us work together in the spirit of nationhood to overcome whatever is thrown our way. No matter how difficult the task, let us hold hands and develop solutions together in the spirit of unity. No matter how long it takes to overcome our problems, let us ensure that we emerge victorious. With confidence in our future, with faith in our brave people, and with a profound love of our country. A close quote.
Ladies and gentlemen, of a profound sense of duty and purpose, let us reaffirm ourselves in the unfinished work of building a better, united, and prosperous Namibia, and to bequeathing a better country to succeeding generations. Thank you for listening to me. I thank you. One takeaway is that um, that the Namibian dollar is is the oil that fuels the economy. So let's have confidence and trust, as Governor said, in our banknotes as we build a better, united, and prosperous Namibia. We have entered that moment. That moment where we will be unveiling the new $10 banknote inducting the JG series into circulation. I will ask Governor to unveil. We welcome the media, the photographers to take pictures. This is the moment that we have been waiting for the unveiling of the new $10 banknote that will form part of the JG series into circulation. Thank you. Let's have some So it's my honor to modify $10 million banknote.